Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts right here at the Ranch here, smoking a pork excuse for a lucky strike, sorting out the world's problems after dishes, trash, laundry, chores, whole fucking nine yards. Mom shower, got everything sorted out. So as a tradition in the dead time between whenever I get caught up on my videos and like whenever it's time to go lay down, I click on random shit that pops in my feed, you know, and I dropped one in my community tab and you need to look at this shit because... I gotta tell you, dude, this is the dangers of zealotry. <laughs> but look, I don't care whose side you're on. I don't care if you're pro-Israeli. I don't even care if you're Jewish, even though I'm not overly fond of Jews. Don't matter to me. I don't care if you're Muslim, even though I don't like you either. That's fine. Everybody's welcome here that's willing to have a conversation and discussion. There are three kinds of people here I cannot fucking stand. Communists, peepee -pee touchers, and those that harm the fucking innocent, okay? Cannot stand them. There needs to be less of them in the world. Well, I guess a fourth would be politicians, because they're they're all of the above. I had to turn the shit off. It just fucking, it was a minute and a half, I couldn't even make it through the whole goddamn thing. A six-year-old Palestinian boy who was of Muslim descent was stabbed to death by his mom's 71-year-old landlord, okay? Now, I don't care what side of this is. I don't care if the kid was going to grow up to be the next Adolf Hitler, bro, or the next Joseph Stalin. Leave kids the fuck alone, okay? A 71-year-old man bursts in the house with the knife. He's the landlord. Goes after the kid. Mom's fighting the guy off while trying to call 911. And if you know anything about trying to hold a hand up to defend yourself or to have a fist fight and holding your phone at the same time, there's one of the two you can accomplish, and the phone is not the appropriate course of action, right? Now, if you don't have the violence inside of you, then yeah, use the phone and try and do the best you can. But this is a terrible fucking tragedy. A little boy who's six years old is not alive anymore, and a mom's probably hurt pretty bad because the guy probably stabbed her too. And the 71-year-old cocksucker, I will not say his name, I can't pronounce it either to be fair about it. I ain't giving him any fucking attention. is in jail because of it. And it's a hate crime. And this, I believe, kind of is a hate crime, right? If you go after somebody because of what specific race they are, especially in heated current events, right, knowing that there's Israel v. Palestine holy war going on right now, and you do that shit in America, that, that's, that's a fucking hate crime, bro. <laughs> like, I don't support hate crimes, right? And I'm a man with some fucking neo-Nazi ink, all right? It don't mean I'm going around using naughty language towards people of different colors than me. It don't mean I'm going around picking fist fights with them either. In fact, I don't, I've never used those words in public at another human being that didn't honestly deserve it, that didn't start it with me, okay? Respect. Basic respect for basic human rights, bro. You know, you should have got the kid a damn falafel or something, you know? Whatever they eat in that part of the world. And yeah, I know I sound ignorant because I don't know. I don't fucking care. I mean, hell, he's a Muslim kid. Maybe he likes fucking tacos. Is is irrelevant. He's six years old, man. How would you feel? Like, I'm, I'm going to pick on white people because I'm white. Okay, I'm master race white here. How would you feel as a white person if black guy, you know, some Puerto Rican guy like the John Benet Ramsey scenario, the lie her family told, came walking into your fucking house and stabbed one of your kids just because they didn't like what color they were? That's pretty fucked up, yo. That ain't nice. Shouldn't be picking on kids anyway, regardless of all the other things, right? That cocksucker Anders Bering Brevich, the, the bastard of Norway, as I call him. While I do approve him blowing up Parliament, because, you know, Parliament needs blown up, he went to a summer camp with an M1A or whatever. I'm sure Per, if he's hanging out, he'll, he'll correct me in the comment section. But basically an M14 clone. And he went into a summer camp and started wasting little commie kids. Now, I hate commies, but once again, these are undergrown commies, okay? They can be untaught, these vile ideologies, all right? And he's currently serving the, the maximum 21-year sentence. And if Norway lets him out, fucking shame on them. Because dude killed, like, a lot of kids, man. But, you know, Norway got that shit right by not plastering homeboy's face all over the 
fucking internet and by not using his name. Because when you do that, these people that are copycats that are sitting in the background that are these little MK Ultra motherfuckers, you know, they're getting, you know, like, hey, you know, I'm a copycat. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get the attention. You know, I'm either going to kill them more creatively or I'm going to kill more of them more grotesquely. This is part of the problem. The media feeds the fucking fire. But absolutely unforgivable. I don't care if you're the most vile, nasty human being on the planet Earth. If you hurt a child for any reason, you're a fucking enemy of anything that is good in this world. But if you do it based off something stupid as fucking race, you're stupid on top of it. I hope they give uh, Homeboy in prison his gummy bears, so to say. Uh, I hope they give him the special treatment in there. You know, they, they don't like people like that in prison. It doesn't matter. Even if you kill a kid on accident, bro, you're still going to face some pretty serious fucking penalties for it. Like in Russia right now, you know what they do? This is a trend going on in social media. They have somebody called a fart boy in prison or something of the effect. Basically, they've decided they don't want to smell their own farts in prison, so the local child molester or sex offender, when summoned, has to run up behind you, put their lips around your ass, inhale the entire fart, and go blow it out the window. And if they smell their own fart, the, the, the farter, rather than the farty, okay? Yes, those are terms I just made them up. If they smell it, then homeboy's going to catch a fucking beat down for this shit. That is a proper way to treat people that hurt kids. And I, I don't care if you agree with me, disagree with me, leave that shit down in the comments. I will fucking light your shit up if you're defending somebody for killing somebody else over a race because that shit is fucking lame, yo. On that note... I'm going to do something happy with my life, like go have leftover meatloaf and some fucking hash browns, because I forgot I had hash browns. Been peeling all these potatoes, and sure enough, I could have just gone to the freezer and got some hash browns. Guess that's what I get for not remembering shit. And as always, if you don't like it, I don't give a fuck. And uh, if you support the, the harming of children or people who don't deserve it, then you can eat my shorts.